Welcome to another Guitar Navore Katana Tone Tutorial. Today we're doing the Sword Freya from their 2007, 2006 album Age of Winters. The song was kind of made famous by Guitar Hero too. Great band to see live as well. I'm going to do things a little bit differently from now on. I'm just going to have the patch already loaded. I'm going to just have the effects off and we're just going to go through effects and I'll talk about them briefly. And we'll just save us a little bit of time. So starting right off with the chain, I'm using chain 3-2. I've got a compressor right up front before the booster and a graphic equalizer after the booster but before the preamp. Okay, and up here I am using a crunch amp because Kyle Shutt uses a crunch head, one knob crunch head, and some orange cabinets. And he also uses a good old DS1, but we'll talk about that in a second. So I got the gain up to about 56 and the volume up at 82. You can adjust that yourself. I've got my bass at 65, middle at 57, 62 on the treble, 66 on the presence, and vintage cabinet. You do have to tune down to see standard for this song. It's a little bit low, but it sounds grimy, and I like it. Moving on to the booster. Like I said, he uses a DS1, and the DS1 is one of those uh, pedals that you can kind of get all wrong if you don't dial it incorrectly or match it up with a decent tone. So the best way to do it is to kind of not crank the distortion on the DS1 too much and put it with a, a good crunch sound. And that's what we're doing here today. And I've got to drive just at 25, very uh, modest. Tone at 10, bottom at 11. Effects also very modest at 30, but I do have the direct mix at 50 because these guys really layer the guitars in the song. They they track double track the guitars and it makes it makes the guitars sound very thick and very distinct. Moving on from the booster, well let's uh, play with with the with the booster off. With the booster on, the DS1 on. Next up, we have a light compressor, which is actually before the booster in the chain. And I've got sustain at 58, and I gave it a little bit more attack at 60. The tone is at 13, and the level is at 45. With the effects, I used Isotope Ozone 9 to isolate the EQ settings from the guitar. And this is what I came up with if you want to uh, pause it and get yours set like that or just download the patch and do it the easy way but this is uh this is the eq that i mash and i would like to, i put it before the, the amp and it doesn't make a huge difference but it makes a difference with it off on moving on to the delay I just have a simple analog delay going on here, and we'll turn it on. I got 289 milliseconds, 16 on the feedback, flat on the high cut. Very uh, subtle, 19 on the level, just, just enough to hear it. And up to the reverb, I always, usually, almost always use a plate reverb when I'm doing metal. So I got the reverb time at 3 seconds, 172 milliseconds, flat on the high and low. 5 on the density, 19 on the effects level, and a full 100 on the direct mix, just like I do over here. I didn't mention that. Reverb. There we go. Turn the reverb on. Like I said, very subtle, because you don't need a whole lot there. It's very optional, too. You don't even need to have that. Next up, I do have another equalizer EQ out. This one does make quite a big difference. And again, I kind of mashed them with the isotope. And with the isotope... Uh, I'm sorry, with this EQ, you can dial it in a little bit finer than the other one. Although the range is a little shorter, you can dial in halves, and that's what's going on here. So before, after. And the parametric EQ out as well. This time I dialed the low gain back just two decibels from my normal plus seven. I left this at 240 and 250 on the frequencies and the cut. Then I have the high mid gain and high gain at three decibels and the level at three decibels. But I do have the high cut turned back from my normal five, which I really like two four, just to take a little bit of that edge off. And the noise suppressor, I do have a noise suppressor on here. I just got it set at 50-50, just like that. I mean, with it off, you can hear a lot of noise, so you need to keep it on. And that is 
it. It's that easy. Let's hear it in the mix one more time, and then we'll close it out. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. It was kind of a quick one, but I wanted to get something out here this weekend. As always, down in the description, you can download the link. You can, you don't download the link. I don't know what I'm saying. There's the download link to the Boston Exchange where I have the patch uploaded. You can download it from there. And there's going to be also a link down there to Songster where you can learn how to play us. Of course, you got to tune to see, as I mentioned. But that is it. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Hope to see you next time.